Hi, my name's Lorraine Elliott, blogger, author and critic of all things food. And I'm on a mission. Following a nationwide challenge to find Australia's most inventive high tea menus, Dilma Tea have challenged me to host a high tea of my own. The only problem is I've never hosted one before. You're cordially invited to join me as I discover the secrets to the perfect high tea. Even though I've been an adult for more years than I care to remember, I find my mother still corrects my table manners. So maybe now it's the perfect time for me to talk to an expert on etiquette. June Daly Watkins was a world famous model in the 50s. She now runs a successful personal development and business finishing school and has been awarded the Order of Australia for her commitment to business. She is an Aussie legend and mistress of deportment. June, we're at the QVB tea rooms. What do you think of the setting and the high tea spread? This is absolutely delicious, Lorraine. How marvellous it is. And they have cucumber sandwiches. <laughs> how yummy it looks. So will you explain how to have a high tea? All right. First, we need to take the napkin and place that on our lap. And then to pour the tea, to take this little strainer, pour the tea through there because it isn't a tea bag. And then you pour the milk in. Well, do you want to show me how to hold a cup of tea? We take it by the handle like that. You have to hold it for a while to get your little pinky finger out there like that. Mm -hmm. But don't point it too far out. Just relax it a little bit because it looks much more attractive than gripping and then elegantly up to your mouth. Mm -hmm. A sip. Yes, back down again. Etiquette is really simply means good manners. And good manners means being considerate and kind and thoughtful to other human beings. After an entertaining afternoon with June in the opulent surroundings of the QVB tea room, I finally feel ready to host my own high tea with some close friends. And if my mother, or indeed the Queen, should turn up as a surprise guest, my manners won't be found wanting. The theme I've chosen for this afternoon is my personal take on Alice in Wonderland, with a floral and feminine twist. How are you? Good, good. Take a seat anywhere you want. Thank you. Good, good. Hello. Thank you. I love your hat. Just let me quickly explain what we've got on the table. Some cupcakes from my little cupcake and they're vanilla. And then we've got these cakes from Patisse, a chocolate three-layer cake. And that's a vanilla panna cotta with a macaron at the top. And then there's cannelaise at the top, those four little vanilla cannelaise. Sri Lankan love cakes made out of nuts and butter and rose. More sandwiches and more sweets. And then of course we have tea. <laughs> For anyone that's having a party of any sort, is to ensure that you have fun as well. A bit of you should be on the table. And that's what I think makes any gathering of friends a good thing. Afternoon tea, it used to be every day, it was just the thing. Every afternoon at three or four, you'd have tea and scones and sandwiches. But now it's really a special occasion to sit down with your friends or someone you care about and have, have a chat. I find these days that there is a lack of etiquette and lack of good manners because people these days are pressing buttons and talking to their computer. They are lacking communication with each other. <laughs> well, I guess that marks the end of my little adventure. Thanks to the helpful advice from the experts, my high tea was a resounding success. What I've learned is that life moves quickly, but every once in a while, it's important to slow things down and remember what's important. And what better way to do it than over a cup of tea with scones? Thanks for being a part of my high tea. And remember, a high tea is what you make it. So make it a good one. Everyone raise your glasses, please. Just want to thank Lorraine for putting on such an amazing spread and organising this wonderful high tea. Thank you very much. Oh, Lorraine. Lorraine. Lorraine.